Last time on the Three Wheel Adventure Channel. It's where we get all our South African food from. We're going to stop in for some breakfast at this crazy little cafe. And now the adventure continues as we leave Dargaville for Kaya Iwi Lakes. Our journey takes us down State Highway 12 from Dargaville for about 30 kilometers to the turn off at Monteith Road. From there it's a scenic 10 kilometers to Lake Taharoa and the Kaya Iwi campsites. This is Promenade Point campground on the western shores of Lake Taharoa and we were keen to see what the sights were like for our up and coming three wheel camping adventure. We circled the site and then made our way to the next site which is Pine Beach on the eastern shores of the lake. Pine Beach campground is situated on the eastern side beachfront of Lake Taharoa. It offers a true Kiwi camping experience for tenters, caravans or motorhomes. In 1928, the Crown set aside 8.5 hectares on the eastern shores of Lake Taharoa as a scenic reserve. Lake Taharoa and the surrounding land was added to a scenic reserve in 1952. And in 1962, Lake Kaiaiwe and Lake Taharoa and the surrounding land were declared as Recreations Reserve to be known as the Taharoa Domain. What? 
We stopped outside the campsite reception area and took a good look around. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to film as we needed prior permission from the management. I got their manager's details and advised that we would contact them for our next visit. After a 30 minute break to chat with locals in the campsite, we were on our way again heading through the 85 kilometer stretch of winding roads that is Waipua Forest. Waipua and the adjoining forests of Matarua and Waima make up the largest remaining tract of native forest in Northland. Most of Northland's ancient forest cover has been lost to saw and fire, plundered for the precious timber of the cowrie tree or cleared for farmland. However, the forests are now under the protection of the Department of Conservation. Waipua is home to the Kauri, one of the world's mightiest trees. The largest cowrie reach more than 50 metres tall, have trunk girths of up to 16 metres, and sprang from seed as long as 2,500 years ago. The oldest known cowrie tree is Tāna Mahuta, which is a popular tourist spot in Northland, New Zealand. So we've arrived at the Openoni Hotel and uh, Sue has booked us into room number 15. If you want to remember it in uh, the future, if you come down this way, it is a beautiful little room, as you can see. Let's give you a, a spin around. Got TV on the wall, ceiling fan, and of course, Beautiful, beautiful view. 
So turning around back, there's the entrance to the room. You see how they set the room up. It's a fairly decent sized king there, I think. But the best part is, oh yeah, there is uh, obviously a very nice part of this. I've got to show you. You wouldn't expect this from a from a a smallish room like this one, but check out this bathroom. Mm. Look how nice that is, and check out the shower. That is one mother of a shower. Unfortunately, there's no swimming pool here, and you don't really want to be in the sea. It's pretty windy out there, but uh, that shower is beautiful for the ladies to do their vanity and the guys if you're uh, having a shave. So yeah, I'm really impressed. I am very impressed with this room and um, I'm sure it's going to be very comfortable for the night. Let's see what these beds are like. Oh, that's great. The thing that scares me the most when I jump onto a bed is sinking away down in between the springs. That ain't happening with this one. So, very pleasant. We've stayed here before and uh, we'll be taking you down, showing you the restaurant this evening and uh, we'll be having some dinner here, a couple of beers. But, uh, yep, if you're heading far north in New Zealand, whether you're in a car, whether you're on a Can-Am or a motorcycle, Open Only Hotel, it's a great place to stay. So we're in Open Only Bay Hotel and uh, we've sat down for dinner. And I'll tell you what, it's an impressive menu and it'll be very interesting to see exactly how nice it is. It, it's, let's put it this way, it sounds nice. Um, Tracy got the Catch of the day. Catch of the day fish. Just pokey. Just pokey, caught locally. And I've ordered one of the uh, stone grills. It's a hot rock that they bring to the table. And uh, you cook your own. Uh, 700 degrees on the rock, so I better not touch it. Otherwise, it could be a bit painful. And I'm having the lamb. Uh, lamb fillets on the hot rock. So with vegetables because we've got to be healthy here. Okay? We've got to have green stuff here, we've got to be healthy. So that's going to be an interesting dinner. Uh, looking forward to it, sounds really delicious and um, we'll see how that arrives. Cheers. We're having a debrief after a fantastic day riding up from Huapai uh, to Openoni, which is where we are now. Weather's been good and um, drivers have been good. Whew. Drive, it's been really quiet. Very, it, very it, quiet. It, well, luckily, when we left State Highway 1 onto State Highway 12, the traffic dropped right down. There was almost no traffic at all. But even um, Wellsford wasn't that busy. No, it wasn't that busy where it normally is. But then it is uh, two days into the school holidays, uh, the Christmas school holidays here. And of course in New Zealand, the uh, Christmas holidays is for six weeks, like uh, in the States, that would be in July. Uh, in the UK, um, July, August holidays is the big holidays. Here in New Zealand, it's from mid-December through to the end of January, and of course, we're now on the 29th of December, so everyone's at their location where they're going to be spending their holidays, their Christmas holidays, so the actual roads have quietened down, which is one of the main reasons why we chose those dates to come up here. I'll wake you up at 6 o'clock. No, <laughs> please can, don't. <laughs> and you can go and film all the fishermen going out to catch the catch of the day. Sure, they'll be long gone before <laughs> 6 o'clock in the morning, I can assure you. 
Um, yeah, so we'll we'll see how that goes. So we'll see if we can get the drone up um, for some sunrise shots, or just after sunrise. I'm not getting up at four o'clock in the morning, that's for sure. Um, yeah, and then once we've had breakfast, we'll make our way not back the way we came because we're going to go via the Twin Bridges. Twin Bridges is another photographic spot, much like the lakes was today. Um, we didn't mu get much photography at the lakes uh, because we weren't allowed to, so you would have just seen the footage of us coming in on the spider, but you wouldn't have seen much of the lakes. That's going to be in a, in, in, a, in a future video, I think, when we come camping. Um, we are asking for special permission to actually do a full video shoot. So that's going to be a, another adventure, another three-wheel adventure, which will be pretty cool. Um, so tomorrow we carry on down and uh, we go through Twin Bridges now. Twin Bridges? You'll probably wonder, it sounds like a name of a town, but it is actually... Two bridges. Two bridges and a single road. I know it's confusing. That's why I'm taking you down there. Um, extremely good uh, biking route, whether you're on two wheels or three wheels. Some good scenery, um, really good road trip. And then that'll take us back onto State Highway 1, which is always boring because it's just the road home. Uh, join the traffic and send it back to the big city. In the meantime, uh, we're still waiting for our dinner. It's taking a bit of time, but uh, I always say... Good things come to those who wait. There you go. So that's the lamb kebabs on a hot rock at the Openoni Hotel. Got some veggies. The idea is get those and you turn them over manually. And cook them to your own perfection. Tracy's got the fish, but not the chips. Don't go there. It's the mash. It's the monster mash. <laughs> okay, we won't go there. So yeah, we'll give that a try. See what it's like. Well, that was a bit disappointing. We ordered at seven o'clock and got the food at nine o'clock. And um, we got our takeaway coats for the for the room. So uh, we're going to move now back to the room. Catch you guys later. Cheers. <laughs>